Several warming shelters are open during the day today if you need them. News for us, Katie Alexander is outside our studio in North Buffalo with what you need to know. Katie? Well, Chrissy, yeah, I'm about as well prepared for this cold as I can be. I'm wearing two hats, two coats, three shirts, five pairs of pants, and I still won't stay out here for more than a little bit at a time. Your best bet is to just stay warm indoors anywhere you can. Anyone in the neighborhood that feels that they need to come in and stay warm, we will welcome them. Um, we have hot coffee and tea to keep them warm. We also have some transportation available today. The Schiller Park Senior Center is one of nine community centers opening for warming shelters for Buffalo residents during this brutal cold. Here, anyone who needs to step inside to escape the chill can enjoy some of the programming offered to seniors here daily. They may have some activities like bingo or play cards or sit and chit chat. However they pass the time, it's important that people have a place to go where it is warm and safe. That's not always an option for everyone, even in their own homes. We certainly don't want any of the seniors to be sitting at home in their cold house if they have a heating issue or if there's any other concerns with just being in the house by themselves. The Schiller Park Community Services case managers have been reminded to check on any clients who may need some help today. But everyone is asked to keep an eye out for everyone else to make sure everyone stays safe. There really are a lot of people that are out on the streets during the day and we don't want them staying out there in freezing cold, so it's important that they come in and have some place warm to be, um, where they can warm up and then go on with their day if that's what they want to do. Yeah, Buffalo residents who need to get to a warming shelter can call 311 for information about a location nearest to them. You can also go to our website, WIVB.com. We have a list of some of the warming shelter locations in Buffalo and in Niagara Falls. Reporting live in Buffalo, Katie Alexander, News 4. Katie, thank you. Crews were out in the